this is actually me talking because I can zoom out. Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. This is, hey friends, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the best real time deep fake I've ever seen. I mean, this is not necessarily deep fake, but this is quite impressive. I'm trying to do a Tom Cruise thing here, but let's go and change something else. To go here, this is, this is the real me. And I'm gonna say picture of, um, let's say George Clooney, elegant in a suit, okay. And come back here and start it. And you can see, it's a George Clooney. I don't have the headphones. Um, I still look good. I don't have the glasses. This is I look actually good. me this is... talking because I can zoom out and then show you what it looks like. Let me zoom out and you can see me here. And if I show you George Clooney, and this is mind blowing. I mean, it's not like actual deep fake for like to the level that somebody will believe it. It is true, but it can create like small advertisements and all the other things that you typically want to do. And all this is possible because of a technology that is called FAL. Fal.ai, not the technology, the company. They've launched this product called Camera AI or Camera AI. And uh, here you can go add any prompt that you want. Like basically it is going to take your input frame here and uh, frame by frame, it's going to do a face swap. Uh, I They have not shared the technology here, but I guess mostly what they're doing is basically doing like a stable diffusion, image translation, image to image and doing a face swap. I guess that's what they're doing here. And it is super impressive how fast the inference is. In fact, you can go here and then see the stats, like click show stats and you can see the camera FPS of frames per second, how much is processed and you can see the inference timing. Let, let, let's put something else like um, a picture of, I don't know who else do I want to see in Hollywood, um, Robert. I want Christopher Nolan, let me say Christopher Nolan. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. I don't know if they've got Christopher Nolan in their training data set. So Christopher Nolan is not good. Like I can very well see Christopher Nolan is not good. Let me try somebody else, maybe Emma Stone. Um, do I look like Emma Stone? Do I look like Emma Stone without, maybe I have to remove my beard and mustache for me to look like Emma Stone. So the image to image is not working fine. And uh, let me try um, so somebody else like, um, I can go ahead and then try Ryan Reynolds. Is it right? Uh, let me turn off and on and start. Okay, Ryan Reynolds, I think it's good. Like it looks good. I think like whenever somebody has a beard, maybe it matches well. Like I think the strongest match that I found is like George Clooney and Tom Cruise. But the idea here is that you can see that the camera is getting 20 FPS, 20 frames per second. And while the camera is getting 20 FPS, you can see this is processing like 12, 13, 17 in the range of that. And you can also see inference currently stopped. I can play the inference and you can see the inference is like in 21 milliseconds. The lat latency is like 400 mil. This is super impressive technology. Like if you want to see my face, this is super impressive technology. And um, I cannot believe that this runs this fast. Like I've never seen a technology like this. I've seen a lot of deep fake tutorials. I've tried deep fake tutorials and most of them are like computation intensive and nothing was like as fast and real time as this thing. And I think like even their fake Tom Cruise uh, TikToks that you might have seen wouldn't have had this um, this level of speed in terms of production. Let me put Tom Cruise once again, because we are talking about fake Tom Cruise. So you can just change the prompt and uh, hey, Ab um, Abdul Majid, but looks like Tom Cruise, something like that you can say. And uh, the main thing here I wanted to highlight is the company behind it. The company is basically file.ai and their primary pitch is that you can do AI inference faster than you can type. and. I mean, honestly, literally you can see that you can go here, you can start the inference and you can go here and type something like, for example, um, in uh, Disney style, something like that. Okay. I can now come back and then play this like uh, turn off, turn it on and then see if it actually works. So I, I don't know if they're controlling the prompt UHD comma in Disney style doesn't show anything now. Maybe something is wrong. Let me restart it. See it in action. And right now you can try this without even an account. So a picture of George Clooney. I think there is something wrong with the system at this point, it is not showing. But the whole pitch is that you can do AI inference like faster than you can type. And they've got a bunch of models for you to try. So no cold starts. Um, typically, a lot of people love to use uh, serverless systems because you don't have to have like a cold start there because uh, 
it's always there. You can just hit the API, get the response. And if you want to build an application, a lot of times your customers don't want to wait. And um, that's one of the reasons why people like serverless and people like APIs without cold starts like this. And you pay only for what you use and there is no cold start. So build a real time AI application with a lightning fast inference under 120 millisecond. And they've got stable diffusion model, SDXL, Whisper, and uh, Animate Diff, um, and they've got latent consistency. I think for this particular demo that we just saw here, I guess they are using uh, latent consistency, the LCM models that does the real time thing. But um, even then, I think this is super amazing, super impressive. This is not a sponsored video. I just saw the demo and uh, I was like super impressed with what you can do. Like this is not necessarily a deep fake technology, but this is trying to take all the things that we have done with image to image and you know face swap and all the other things and try to take an image uh, real time or near real time from camera as a frame and then translate it with image to image i don't know if they're doing face swap but super impressive um right now the demo is not working but you can go back to the video and then see see you in another video happy prompting